Well, BC is getting a higher than expected minimum wage. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver joining us now with how the business community is reacting, especially small businesses, Tyler. Yeah, because keep in mind, when the government announced this last year, they were just expecting minimum wage to be tied to inflation. It was actually higher than expected. So we're getting a 20 cent bump related to inflation uh, versus the 10 cent bump that the government had originally decided on. So going forward, we have to keep in mind the important thing here is that uh, not many British Columbians actually make minimum wage. Only about 7% of the workforce here does. So for most bi small businesses, they don't actually pay their workers minimum wage. They actually pay more than that. So this bump, it's already baked in. When I spoke to the Retail Council of Canada a few months ago about a $15 minimum wage, so that's what they had more concerns about, that that could actually stymie growth because they would be able to hire fewer people to do the jobs necessary. But uh, we're looking towards Seattle. They have it planned for 2021 to have a staggered minimum wage of $15 U.S. come in. So that's what we, that's what we might be keeping our eyes on uh, going forward. All right. And uh, critics have their um, sights set on the BC liquor distribution branch because they've just moved offices. Tell us a little bit more about what's happening. Yeah, they essentially want to double their square footage in uh, warehouses moving from East Vancouver down to Delta. But uh, this is getting uh, a lot of panning from critics here that say it's a costly move and quite unnecessary. Right now, when it comes to BC made liquor, uh, that can go through third party warehouses. But for all imported goods, it's mandated that has to go through the BC Liquor Distribution Branch's warehouse. So we spoke to a lot of restaurateurs here in Vancouver, and they say that this can actually be a bit of a costly logistical nightmare for them. The government, though, it's maintaining that it is necessary in order to track all imports coming into British Columbia and ensure that the proper markups are given. But we are seeing that it is possible with third-party warehouses doing like a fine job with what's going on with BC made liquor. So I don't know, there's going to be some push and pull between these uh, two forces at work here. Interesting. Okay, Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver. Thanks, Tyler.